this how to's with Aaron. All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to play the song How He Loves Us by John Mark McMillan. I'm going to show you how to play it in the key of G. And the chord progression is G, E minor, D, and C. So with the number system, that's a 1, 6, 5, 4. Those are the numbers of the key. For this song, it's the same chord progression the whole time. And the timing of the chorus just changes a little when you get to the bridge. So the first chord is a G chord. We're building it on this G note right there. Other finger goes there. This finger there. That finger is there. Now our E minor. We're starting here and there. Our D. And our C. So if you were to do it all together, it would sound like this. And you use that same thing through the whole song. So there's a little bit of a fancier way that you could change these chords and give a little bit more emotion to them. The G is going to be the same. We just kept our bottom fingers there, moved into the E minor. Bottom fingers stay. We're going to the fancy D with the F sharp in the bass. And our fancy C these bottom fingers just stayed. So that's a little bit better view. And so if you do it that way, it's going to sound a little bit like this. Real pretty and very worshipful, and uh, using those uh, chord options works for a lot of different songs and sounds really nice. And basically, what that is is doing like a, a C9 and you know adding notes to the chord, and um, they blend together really no well and sound really great. So that's how to play it in G. I like to do it in B, um, and that just all depends on who you're playing with and who's singing. So, but let's say you wanted to play it in B. A good way to do it is to use a capo, particularly for acoustic guitars. And just like we have a, on our e, e string, we have a G note right here. And so if we go up two, we got G sharp and A. And that's our A note. The capo is gonna do the same thing, but on all of the strings, so it's not going to move just one note, it's going to move our entire chord. So if we have our G chord that we're using, and we put it here, now our G becomes an A. And so it's going to move everything all together. So uh, the number system where you use numbers to help you know which part of the key you're at, where we said we we're playing in G, which is the one. So uh, A and B, in this case would be minors, would be two, three, and then the four is C, the five is D, the six is E, minor. Because your six is always minor, the two and three is always minor. Um, so it's gonna bring that whole chord progression up when we put the capo on. So if we were going to play this song in B, the one is now going to be B major. 
And then the four is now going to be E. The five is going to be F sharp and the six G sharp minor. But we don't have to do a whole bunch of worrying about, okay, where did that chord go? It's all the same thing because the capo is bringing it all up together. So if we wanted to play in G and we put the capo here, now we're in G sharp, or you could also call it A flat. Now we're up to A, A sharp, B. So now we can play just like we do in G, but now we're in B because we went from G, A, B. And all our other chords came up with it. So now when we do the G and the E and the G and the C, the sound that's actually being made is B, G sharp minor, F sharp, and E. So let's look at just that E minor. When we were playing over here, it was an E minor. If we put the capo on, it would be F minor, F sharp minor, G, G sharp minor. So that's how your capo works. And now we can play the song in B using the same chords that we did in G. If you didn't have a capo, um, a, a lot of times you would end up using bar chords where you're using your finger as if it was a capo so that I can do an E major chord, use my finger like a capo to go to F, F sharp G, and there's a G. Same thing for A, we could take our A major chord to get our B. So we would do B, G sharp minor, F sharp major, and E. So that would totally work, but for an acoustic guitar, the capo helps keep the voicings the same and works really well. Bar chords are good to learn. Capos aren't obsolete either, and for acoustic guitars, they're great. So that's the basics of the song. We got the number system. We got uh, the fancy versions of those chords. We got our capo. And uh, let's go ahead and play this song in B with our capo. And we'll use the fancy version of our chords. like a hurricane I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy when all of a sudden I'm unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory when I realize just how beautiful
that's a little bit of an abbreviated version, but those are all the parts. And uh, that's how you can play it. That's how I do it, and that's how you can do it. And uh, you can use these same concepts for many more songs and uh, enjoy worshiping God with them and growing in it. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and find other good guitar videos and much more. Be blessed. Thank you.